I recently became a Wheeling customer, and I want to share my experience of that. So who are they? Well, they're a startup. They were recently, recently raised a lot of money to build out a wireless fiber network, as they call it. It's wireless, so they're going to put something like this on your roof. And it's synchronous, and it offers up to about 700 meg, both up and down. And these are some more results from day one when I had my laptop directly connected. And it was really consistent. You can see it's performing really well. And it was that fast upload speed that I was really excited about because you cannot get those speeds on cable or DSL. So let's take a closer look. How do they actually do this? And I said this was wireless. Um, so this is my drone. Sorry for the footage bouncing around. Um, but they use uh, a special type of tile clamp and clamp um, a, uh, a mount onto your roof. And in my case, they've installed two four inch uh, antennas. Um, and there is a uh, sort of master brain unit, which does all the routing uh, beneath it. The reason there's two antenna, um, and there can be more, um, is that uh, my house is an anchor. Um, sometimes they use the term super anchor as well. But the idea is that most houses are connected, not just to the WeLink network, but also connected to other houses. And that just makes the network overall more uh, resilient. By the way, if you live in an HOA, don't worry. Uh, you have a federally protected right to put antenna on your house uh, and you do not need HOA permission to do so. This is a close up of the uh, four inch cube antenna and I believe it's something that they actually make themselves as proprietary to WeLink. So while most houses have the small four inch cubes, one house in a neighborhood needs one of one or more of these. These antenna provide backhaul to the nearby location wherever WeLink has their actual fiber terminating. This house is known as the seat house because it's providing the signal for everyone else nearby. So back at my house, you see the two antenna on the roof and you see the a cable coming uh, down the roof. Um, by the way, uh, if you give them the paint and a brush, they will paint it uh, so it sort of disguises it somewhat. Um, that uh, wire is going through into a room in my house that I use as an office, but then two other power only cables are coming down here. Um, and this is actually a, a battery backup as an anchor house. Um, we have this battery uh, backup as well. Um, it just means that if there's an outage, um, the power won't go out and then take down um, other customers. For the cabling, they use two different types of outdoor rated cable, um, Cat5e, which is interesting because that only has a maximum of one gigabit. Um, and this is outdoor rated speaker cable for the power. Now they're going to put this on the inside of your house. So think carefully about where the, the wires are going to go, where you want them to drill the hole through the wall. Obviously it has to be an outside wall and where you want this box to go, which has to be mounted over an outlet. I didn't like where this ended up and I didn't know it was going to be black wire. Um, so I relocated it inside of the closet uh, after they'd gone. This is the uh, mainly the power supply. That's really all it, it is. And it's also a place for them to terminate um, their ethernet connection, which is coming from the roof, uh, the Cat5. Um, and that's where you plug in your own router. They do supply Eero routers, which I'm not using yet because I wanted to stick with my own equipment. Um, but that's it. It's just a power supply. Um, and they do mount it over uh, an outlet. So you don't unplug it. These were the results from day one when I had my laptop directly connected to the um, termination point for WeLink. Uh, these were results a few days in. Um, and I was actually going through my own uh, router, uh, which might explain why it's slower, but perhaps other customers had come online as well. Um, this is some data from some Zoom calls, um, which have been good. I haven't noticed any problems, um, despite that uh, in one of these um, screenshots I took, there is showing um, some packet loss, but it didn't seem to make any impact. 
So it's only been about two months actually since uh, the guy first turned up at my door and gave me this uh, door hanger, um, which caught my eye immediately. It's much cheaper than my current Cox cable service. Um, and it's also a lot faster. Like most people in America, I've got a choice of two internet providers. There's Cox, the cable company. And I have to say they've been very reliable. Um, that's been great, but slow upload speeds. Um, the alternative is the local phone company. And in our case, they only offer DSL. They do offer fiber in some areas, but not yet in our home. So I think it's extremely exciting that WeLink is rolling out wireless fiber, as they call it, in a bunch of places. Um, I'm in Las Vegas, Nevada, but they're also operating in Utah, Arizona, and Texas. Like I said, I'm only five days in, and I was actually just about to publish this video, and then guess what? My new internet connection went down, and that was 24 hours ago, and it's still down. They are offering big discounts uh, for the first six months if you're an anchor home. Um, so I'm going to keep my old connection for uh, at least six months. And I hope, you know, by the end of that, they'll have figured everything out. If you want to stay in the loop on how it's going, uh, remember to subscribe um, because I'm going to post update videos. So thanks again for watching and please do like the video as well. Thanks. My name's Scott.